Thanks for joining Colette and I for a chat. Now, we live in a day and age where we are bombarded with sex, sexual images um, in the media, all over the place, social media. So how can we talk to our children about pornography? Well, I think, Fiona, people will be shocked to realise that uh, children as young as nine are accessing pornography. Now, I'm not saying children as young as nine are seeking it out. Right. Uh, that isn't where it starts. And I believe that figure is decreasing as well. Yeah. It? So, well, yeah, it, it's quite mixed depending yeah. on the data. But anecdotally, I have parents come up to me and tell me about their sons or daughters. They hadn't put filters on devices because they thought they were way too young at nine years old right. and then suddenly realised their child has been seeing it for about six months. It doesn't start off as active seeking, but it's accidental. Yeah. But curiosity is normal. Yeah. And so uh, we need to give our children the message that sex isn't dirty. They aren't dirty when they're curious about, uh, about sex. Okay. But it's, uh, pornography is not healthy sex. Right. It's not even normal sex. Uh, it er has the potential to erode everything relationally healthy, socially healthy, right. psychologically healthy about our children and in their lives. Uh, we also need to be careful that we don't shame our children. Okay. Uh, shame will just drive the, the behaviour underground. They won't come and talk to us again. They are terrified you're going to take away their device. They are terrified... Um, Which is a whole other dilemma. Absolutely. Right. And so they don't talk to us because we, uh, if we don't bring it up, they're not going to bring it up. Mm. We need to be proactive in this, in this area. Okay. Uh, talk to our children, particularly little children, right. about things that make them feel uncomfortable or yucky on their tummy or uh, things that they've made them a bit curious or, or uh, even afraid. Right. Older children... Uh, so we should uh, be the one to talk to them about yes, it initially first yes, absolutely. before they go looking at these things that, that pop up sometimes. And, and our children's friends are talking about it on the playground. Right. We mustn't be naive to, to assume that our children don't know. Okay. And so we need to actually even use the word with our older, teen, with our older primary age children and teenagers, absolutely. Okay. And then... If our children, we suddenly discover our child has been exposed or they've been looking at it. I developed what I call the breathe principles uh, for my book. Essentially, really, it's B is be ready, uh, be prepared to talk about the topic. R is reassure your child right. that you are not angry with them, that you are there to support them. Mm -hmm. um, E is expect initial denials and promises they'll never do it again right. uh, because children don't want to... Um, Think that they you, that you're going to be angry with them. Then um, assure them, assure them that uh, there are many people around the world that are uh, doing things to uh, fight this. Okay. Make sure they have healthy activities that they're involved in. Right. Uh, do a technology check around your home. Mm -hmm. Have you let things slip? Do you have things around uh, on all devices that? block and so on. Yeah. Uh, make sure that your child um, is seeking help. Yeah. Um, do you need to reach out for help if you, uh, if you need support in this? Uh, really enlist support if you need support, uh, if you feel like it's gone too far mm -hmm. and you're not sure what to do. But really it's about lots of conversations with our children. It's not a one-off. It's lots of small conversations mm -hmm. over our children's uh, Develop, developmental stages and each stage of their lives. Thank you so much, Colette. And I hope that's helped. That's, that's a great principle, breathe. And I think as parents, we need to breathe whenever our child might come across pornography too. So keep it locked right here for topics like this and so much more. Mums at the table.